Good morning and welcome to Cambridge University Botanic Garden. Today I'm going to take you on another wellness wander. I'm Sally Pettit and I'm Head of Horticulture here at the garden and whilst covering essential duties here to try and maintain the garden I'm going to take you on a short wander this morning. As you can see it's a beautiful day here in front of the glass houses. Brilliant sunshine in contrast to the very dull, cold, windy weather we've had in recent days. Everything in the bee borders is really enjoying this weather, as indeed are the bees that we'll see en route. So as we wander along, we're going to see numerous of these purple globe-headed flowers. This is Allium, purple sensation, growing against this wonderful Iris Siberica typhoon, which has beautiful, brilliant blue flowers with these lovely, lovely, almost marbled falls that you can see here. And just to demonstrate on cue, these really do attract bees. Here we are, one of our bee pollinators enjoying a forage in the flower head of the Allium here. Everything planted in these borders does really, really attract bees. It's a real playground for them. So plants here include borage that you can see here, showing early flowers. Wallflowers just going over. And a mix of many, many other species to give year round interest really do provide food for our foraging friends but also create a wonderful display for us here in the garden to enjoy. I'm just going to span across here in front of the glass houses behind the bench you can just make out the beautiful waxy white flowers of Xantodesia aethiopica, the arum lily. And then back through the bee borders where everything is either a yellow, a white, a purple or a bluish tone. Um, red flowers really, really don't attract the bees, so there are very or none included here in the plantings. You can see here the very, very mellifluous, honey-scented Euphorbia mellifera. And familiar plants too grown here such as the chive. But really creating great colour and interest at this stage of the season. And from the bee borders, we're just going to take a wander through our terrace garden, um, which comprises plants mainly from New Zealand, just to show the great diversity of species grow, which grow there. So many of the plants display this very divaricate or angular um, branches, which have evolved, particularly in the New Zealand area, as probably a deterrent to grazers. So this is Mulembechia astoniae. It has tiny, tiny leaves and this zigzag effect to the branching. And then just alongside um, these wonderful golden colours of one of the formiums and Libertia peregrinans which is emerging through the, the sort of golden rusty coloured um, foliage of the echina growing beneath it. Creates great effect here. And heading into a little more shade, but also a very, very sheltered spot here.
So we head down into the terrace, the lower reaches, where there's much, much texture in the foliage to create great structure in the plantings, where many of these flowers produce very small, discrete flowers. And in this quiet environment, you can make out birds in the background, a little bit of machinery noise, um, but not much else, apart from perhaps the creaking of an overhead branch. And we're now at the back of the terrace garden and we're going to head towards Corrie Lawn. Back across the tarmac here which you can hear scrunching beneath my feet. And through beneath the dappled shade of two oak trees. and heading up onto the cafe terrace, which seems very, very strange without the chairs and tables that usually furnish it, which have now neatly been stacked away. But here we can really appreciate the tabletop lime trees. Tilia Henriana here with these beautiful leaf margins. and heading now onto the lawn where we have finally been able to get round to mowing with our reduced staffing. But this really helps set off the plantings in this location. And a wonderful spot to enjoy the contrasting bright light and shade, also peace and tranquility and blasts of colour provided by some of the early spring flowering plants here. So particularly camassias and bearded iris, which nestle amongst these tabletop yew hedges. And almost a great shot of the contrasting old and new buildings here in the Botanic Garden. and a last chance to enjoy this mixed planting. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Wellness Wonder and we look forward to showing you more of our garden next week. Thank you.